we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the memorial of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr. He is also the patron saint of those who are having problem with their throats. Let us ask for the intercession of St. Blaise that he may pray for us and through his prayers the Lord may protect us from all in illnesses. Today also we remember Blessed Justo Takayama whose death we commemorate today. After about 44 days since arrival in Manila, he passed away due to natural causes. There is an exhibit of, a, a pa of paintings of a Japanese painter of the life of Blessed Yusto. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge that we are all sinners in need of God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of the martyr Saint Blaise and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon went to Gibeon to sacrifice there because that was the most renowned high place. Upon its altar, Solomon offered a thousand burnt offerings. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me, and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, You have shown great favor to your servant, my father David, because he behaved faithfully toward you, with justice and an upright heart. And you have continued this great favor toward him, even today, sitting a son of his on his throne. O Lord, my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast, that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish from right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, because you have asked for this, 
not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one to equal you. In addition, I give you what you have not asked for, such riches and glory that among kings there is not your like. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart, I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice, as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest for a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. What prayer pleases the Lord? In the first reading from the first book of Kings, it was said that the Lord was pleased, was pleased with the prayer of Solomon. What prayer? pleases the Lord. 
If we look at the model of Solomon's prayer, we notice that when he was asked by the Lord, no, ask something of me and I will give it to you. Hingin mo ang kahit ano ibibigay ko sa iyo. Hindi nagsimula si Solomon ng pag ng isang listahan ng kanyang mga gustong hingin. No. Baka ganun tayo kung halimbawa tanungin tayo ng Panginoon sa panaginip, ano ang gusto mo ibibigay ko sa iyo? Baka ganito kahaba ang listahan ng ating mga hihingin. But Solomon did not start with enumerating his needs. Rather, he started by looking back at the goodness of, of God. He started with gratitude. Sabi niya, sabi ni Solomon, You have shown great favor to your servant, my father David. You have continued this great favor toward him even today. Through me, the son that succeeded him to, his, to, to the throne. In other words, binalikan ni Solomon yung mga magagandang ginawa ng Diyos sa kanyang tatay na si David at maging sa kanya. I think that is how we should pray. Let us begin with thank you. Let us begin with an attitude of gratefulness. Pagtanaw ng utang na loob sa kanyang mga tinanggap na biyaya. Suriin nyo nga ang inyong sarili. Kangina, nung pumasok kayo dito sa loob ng katedral at lumuhod sa mga luhuran at nagdasal, anong una ninyong sinambit? Anong una ninyong sinabi sa Panginoon? Ito ba'y nagspapahayag ng pasasalamat at pagtanaw ng utang na loob? Hay, salamat po Panginoon at nakarating ako ng maluwalhati sa katedral. Salamat po, Panginoon, sapagkat nagising ako kangina at nakapagsimba ngayon. O baka naman binanatan nyo kaagad ng Panginoon, sana po ganito, sana po ganon, sana po matanggap na ako sa trabaho, sana po ma-approve yung aking visa application, sana po gumaling na aking ang anak, sana po ay tumaas ang sweldo ko, sana po, sana po, sana po. Ganon. Let us begin with gratitude. The second model, the second uh, outstanding uh, element of Solomon's prayer was he did not ask for any material things. Hindi niya sinabing, sana ay dumami pa ang pera ko, sana ay magkaroon ako ng mas malaking bahay. Ni hindi niya hiningi yung kapahamakan ng kanyang makaaway. Sana matodas na yung walang hiyang kapitbahay ko. No, ganon. No, sana yung, yung, yung kaibigan ko nagtaksi sa akin at inabaw, inagaw yung kasintahan ko sa akin, eh sana ay masagasaan. No, ganon. No, hindi ganon ang kanyang hiningi sa Diyos. Sa halip, ang sabi niya, Lord, Give me an understanding heart. Isang pusong marunong umunawa. Binigyan mo ako ng isang mabigat na tungkulin. Ginawa mo akong hari ng iyong bayan. Bigyan mo ako ng isang pusong marunong umunawa. Let us examine what we have been asking for. Tingnan nga natin, balikan nga natin yung ating mga dasal. Ano yung uri ng ating mga panalangin? Si Solomon humingi ng isang bagay para magawa niya ang tungkulin niya 
sa kanyang bayan. He did not ask for wealth. He did not ask for health. Rather, he asked for an understanding heart so that he may become a better king, a better leader. Hindi pa rin para sa kanyang sarili, kundi para sa kanyang bayan. Tignan din natin, mga kapatid, ang mga ipinagdarasal natin. Suriin natin, ano ba yung madalas kong hingin sa Diyos? And finally, ano ang ginawa ng Diyos? Sabi nga eh, the Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. Natuwa siya sa dasal ni Solomon. Hindi niya hiningi ang mahabang buhay, hindi niya hiningi ang yaman, hindi niya hiningi ang kapahamakan ng kanyang makaaway, kundi pagkaunawa. Kaya anong ginawa ng Panginoon? Ibinigay niya yon, hinihingi ni Solomon, kaya nga si Solomon ay isa sa mga matatalinong hari ng Israel. God made him a wise person. Pero, hindi lang yon. Pati yung mga hindi hiningi ni Solomon, ibinigay ng Diyos. Ganyan kaganda ang loob ng Diyos. Kapag ang Diyos nagbigay, sabi nga eh, umaapaw, siksik, liglig, sapagkat hindi natin mahihigitan ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Tingnan din ninyo sa inyong mga karanasan. Ano-ano yung mga napasa inyo pero hindi naman ninyo hiningi. Ibinigay ng Diyos ng kusa. Di ba? Misa nagtatampo tayo, Lord, bakit naman hindi mo binigay ito sa akin? No? Ito ang aking dinadasal. Ang nakikita natin, yung hindi ibinigay. At nakakalimutan natin tignan yung mga ibinigay kahit hindi natin hiningi. Di ba? Tingnan nyo. We have so many things in us that God gave that we did not even pray for. Kaya babalik ako doon sa simula. Pasasalamat. Pagtanaw ng utang na loob. Pagkilala sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Tularan natin si Solomon sa pagdarasal. Maging halimbawa na wasya sa ating lahat kung paano da- tayo dapat manalangin. Amen. Please all stand. Aware of the need to escape from the demanding activity of life in order to strengthen and restore our inner spirit, we approach God, the Father, in humble prayer as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that those who exercise leadership in the church may keep their commitment alive in the preaching of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer, That we who are burdened with heavy work may come away and rest a while and find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer that those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer, That through the intercession of Mary, the sick may find healing from their infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer, That the faithful departed may dwell in the Lord's house forever. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son on the way to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace may we be set afire with that flame of your love, through which Saint Blaise overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Blaise, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to be bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Blaise, with Blessed Takayama and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, with one common Father, we pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr place faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the Mass, after the final blessing, I would like you, those who want, wish, I would like you to make, uh, to form two lines in the middle for the blessing of your throat through the intercession of Saint Blaise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.